Hi, uh, welcome back. Happy Tuesday. Let's get this camera angle in. Samson Yon, give me a thumbs up if you are, brother. Let's see. Got the piggy. And then for whoever else is on, we've already got a few people waiting. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. And actually, I can't see you yet. So type your name in. Let me know who's here and what you're most looking forward to for today. Good light. All right. Yeah, this is okay. Hello, hello. Do we have sound? Go ahead and type your name in. Let me know where you're from. Rose is the only one I see in the chat. Hey, hey, Sunny San Mateo. He is super cute, thank you. Who else is here? Hello, little man, this is Jackson. And today, He's three months old. Woo! Hi, Cheryl, this is my baby. <laughs> He's the most cute. Happy three months. Well, happy three months. Mm. He's, ready. He's ready to get his practice on. Uh, thank you, Crystal. Who else is joining us today? Ooh. Honey, will you get my watch? It's charging upstairs. Yeah. Thank you. So if you're just joining, this is Jackson. Hi, Emily. Look it, they're telling you happy birthday. Kat from Dallas. Christina, Stephanie. What a sweet family this has become, this virtual YouTube internet family. Like there's an affinity and a connection when I see the names of my friends who we've been practicing together for the last six, seven weeks now. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Is that Mary or Katya? Who's on? Fort Worth. Thank you. You're welcome. Laura, good to see you. Mary, tell Katya to get some yoga in. Get to call her out on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, awesome, Emily. I get some, some back and forth. We got three minutes till. And I wanted to just hang out with Jackson for a little bit so he could say hi. Because today he's three months old and he's growing nice and big. And then Samson, are you on yet? Give me a thumbs up. So, oh, and the little piggy in the back today. So no unicorns, no dinosaurs, just Jackson. He gets his toy today, that's it. And he doesn't know. <laughs> Namaste from Minneapolis. So this will be a C2 and you will need a yoga mat. Actually, you don't even need a yoga mat. Whatever you practice on. Just Samson in the house with the wrench. Welcome. Some water. You won't need a baby, but if you have one, great. Can you say hi? Can you do your talking? Let's see. Hi. Make some sounds for, the, for our friends. What? <laughs> if I look at them, hey. Hi, buddy. Do you see that person back there? Hey, Shelly. Watch this, we're gonna get a smile. Hi. There it is. Can you talk? Hey, Neil. <laughs> Will you smile for mama? There's a smile. <laughs> what is that look? <laughs> oh, we got it, we got one. Little man. 
Okay, one minute till. Everybody say, bye, Jackson. Happy birthday. Oh, come on. There's my belly. He just goes into the abyss of YouTube land. Ryan Perry Marks, if you're on, I'm rocking my red Ryan Perry Marks shorts. And then for my New York squad, Brooklyn shirt. It's 8 o'clock over there, though, so I don't know how many of you are actually practicing right now. All right, friends, we'll get started in like 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Grab your yoga mat, grab your water, a towel for sweat. Um, that's really all that we'll need today. Hey, Amy, we do have a Brooklyn yogi in the house. That's awesome. I always figure it's too late for y'all at this time, but um, I'm always wrong, so that's good. Ryan, my man, good to see you, brother. Be ready. You're probably sore from last night's class. Okay, we do have coast to coast tonight. Let's, let's get going. So a couple of reasons as to why I brought out my little dude. Number one, he's three months old today, so why not? Number two is, and what I wanted to share throughout this practice, and it could be thought of as a continuation to the resiliency class, but it's a different layer. The word that I'm so present with today is fragility or being fragile. When I look at my kids, and if any of you have ever been around little people or fuzzy, fuzzy people, dogs, cats, whatever, they're, they're anything but fragile. They can wake up out of a dead sleep. So every morning when the light in our kids' room turns green, they sprint, full on sprint out of bed. We hear, hey Nicole, we hear their feet running. Like there's no warm up, there's no stretching. Same thing with the cats and the dogs. Chester Murphy's on, what's up? Girl? There's just zero concept of, I need to move in a certain way. This concept of being soft, fragile, and breakable just, just does not exist in them. And it also shows up really big in the animal world too. From a dead sleep, animals can run up and jump because they're being chased for their lives. Up, down, left, right, side to side, it's not linear. And I think that there's some wisdom in us being able to decode how to move away from being fragile and land in a place of true strength, strength that's flexible and strength that's lasting because we are being we are being pulled in many different directions, unknown directions right now. Grab your left elbow and uh, lift it up and then with your right hand, just give yourself a pull. So begin to stretch your lat and your tricep. I'm just gonna keep yapping, class has started. So use your right bicep to pull, stretch through here and then pull back as well. And hold the tension for a little bit. And I want you to think about where this concept of being fragile comes from because if we're as children we're not born with it we're wild we're wild we're free we don't move in linear ways switch sides but then somewhere along the line we begin to learn and believe that if we move a certain way if we think a certain way if we behave a certain way then we will break and in an extreme example, take your hands behind your back this time, pull your fist away from you, then bow forward from your seated position. Interlace your fingers, bow forward. So tie into the strength of your back line by squeezing your triceps, then allow your fist to come up and over your head. Stay here for a few breaths. And what I was going to say is that in extreme cases, there are some... Sometimes when simple words or sounds can, can take us to a state of fragility. Release, come to a seat, begin to move through your spine, just naturally, organically, uh, as we like to say. It doesn't have to be rhythmically or it doesn't have to make sense. Just do what feels good in your own body. So the 
point here is, can we uncover where that began? And or more importantly, can we make a conscious decision to move into the unknown with strength versus breakability? Downward facing dog, please. From that seated position, crawl back and do the same thing. Just stretch, move your body. Begin to tap into your ujjayi pranayama now. Constrict the muscles in your throat. Breathe with consciousness. And find stillness in downward facing dog. Fire up the muscles on the front line of your body. Two, soften and elongate the muscles behind your body. And press your hands, like drive your hands down, ignite your shoulders, and notice the space that starts to open up in the side of your ribcage. Last little bit is to lift your belly button up in towards your tummy, and then lift your tailbone up, and we hold this strong, steady, downward facing dog. Five rounds of breath. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Good, big breath in. Big breath out. Last inhale, here. Big exhale. <sighs> inhale, soften your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet up. Right dog. Grab opposite elbows and sway from side to side. Let your body hang heavy. And pay attention to where you really grip, to where you're holding on for, your, for dear life. And then also flip side, pay attention to where you're just rooted in your strength, to where you know that you are unflappable, to the, that place that you know, maybe mentally, emotionally, physically, you know, you know, you know that you are anything but fragile. See if you can bring both of those to your consciousness right now. Breathe in. Big breath out. Drop your hands down to the ground. You can bring your feet together if that feels good or leave them where they are. Inhale, roll up to a standing position. Exhale, samasti tahi. Bring your palms to heart center. Dip your chin to your chest, close your eyes and breathe. Give yourself permission to play your opposites today. Give yourself permission to use whatever came up in the first couple of minutes of this class to dive into and to uncover and to pick away at fragility so that you leave this practice with a knowing that you have everything you need underneath the hood to move forward. Big breath in. Big breath out. Blink your eyes open. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep your hands up skyward. And Samson, give me a thumbs up on the volume. Hold mountain pose. I'm gonna get on my knees so you can see what's going on. Exhale, bend your elbows so you're still standing on your feet. Bring the thumbs, your thumbs, to the nape of your neck. Inhale, pull your elbows behind you. Allow your pelvis to go forward and your heart to go forward. So pull your ears in front of your triceps. Pull for a breath. Let's move on. Inhale, mountain pose. Straighten out your elbows. Exhale, forward fold. In. Inhale, halfway lift. Uncurl your spine. Look forward. Exhale, high to low push up. Let your hands gently float back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press the earth away. Ignite your quads. Exhale, downward facing dog. Flip on over. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, jump or step. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. 
Exhale, bend your elbows and pull them back. Inhale, mountain pose. Straighten your elbows out. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Offer your heart. Exhale, high to low push-up. Plant your hands. Take a little jump back. Land in a little plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press through the weight. Lift up. Look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Roll over your toes. Breathe. Begin again. Breath to movement. Inhale, bend your knees. Look forward. Exhale, spring forward. Yeah, Justin Murphy. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Come up. Exhale, bend your elbows, expose your heart. There you go, Ryan Forrest. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, dive down. Hands in prayer, Cheryl. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low. Bring it on home. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From down dog. Come on down to your forearms. Dolphin pose. Walk your feet forward, 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 and press your forearms into the ground so that you get your heels closer to the ground. You're going to open up the back side of your body even more and light up your lats. Now walk your feet back. Walk your feet back. Look forward. Shift forward. Exhale. Press the earth away. So we're just going to move through a few. Dolphin push-ups, pull your head forward, and then back. We're not connecting to music, I want you to go slow and mindful. And every time you draw your heart back, can you hit deeper so that you're pulling your heart through your armpits? Ugh. One more time, forward. And exhale, go forward. From here, look forward. Lift your left elbow, turn your left hand on, shift your weight with your right elbow. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and open. Take a couple of circles with your right knee. Big, big circles. Keep your right leg high. Exhale, flip your dog. Drop your foot behind you. Lower your hips so that they're hovering off the ground. Then reach your right hand forward. Keep your belly engaged here. Just gonna say one time, low. From here, split dog. Inhale, drop your right hand, lift your right leg high. Exhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow. Squeeze, hold for a few beats. Shift forward, lift your right knee higher. Good. Inhale, lift your leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Bring your foot in between your hands. Pause. Lift your gaze. Go forward. Inhale, standing out. Shift your body forward. Turn on your left butt cheek and your left hamstring. So call this standing out, not standing splits, because the focus is on strength in the back side while maintaining a bent knee. Different from stretching your hamstrings. So keep your right knee back. Big breath in. Exhale, Shiva, hover. Take your left knee behind your right calf. See if you can lean back and bring your palms to touch. Turn on all of the muscles in your right thigh. Then with control, look forward. Inhale, press and lunge. Step your left leg back. Rise. Hold and breathe. Big, big stretch in the left side of your body. Can you draw your heel away from you while simultaneously allowing your hips to drop lower? Lift your heart. Big inhale. Exhale. Open hearted back bend. So front view. You're going to pull your elbows away from you like you're doing a pull up. Squeeze the muscles behind you, and then again, can you pull your heart in front of your elbow? So instead of being closed, back like that, yes. Inhale, reaching crescent. Hinge forward, bring your palms to touch, and look forward, drop your torso down. Exhale, chair plane, step your left foot forward, bring your hands back. Can you keep your shoulders in line with your hips? So it's a little tough, little tough airplane. A strong right foot. Inhale, warrior two. Step your left leg back, spin your heel down, and open up. Feel the expansiveness here. Reach your hands out. Big breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Come forward in your variation. Whichever variation you choose, take your left hand, which is your upper hand, and make some circles. Warm up your shoulder a little more. 
Inhale, reverse triangle. I like to give myself a, a wrist grab. So press into your front right toe. Ignite your quad. Pull up. Look up. Exhale, hide a little push-up. Bring your hands down to the mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, circle your hip. The same thing here, a couple of circles. Keep your left leg high, breathe in. Exhale, flip your dog, drop your foot, lower your hips. So we're going two moves in one, you're going all the way down, hover your hips down, reach your hand forward. What you're working on is mobility. What you're working on is moving in ways that are unfamiliar to you because life is just not linear. If you've only trained for a linear life, then things like this pandemic are gonna throw us off. That's how we begin to combat this idea of being fragile. Inhale, split dog. Lift your left leg up and your left hand high. Exhale, bring your left knee to your right elbow. Pause, squeeze, lift it higher. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing out, shift forward. Strong through your backside. So flex your right glute and your right hamstring. Keep your bend in your left knee. Come back to your ujjayi breath. And I'm mostly talking to myself here. If you want to, you can bring your hands up. Find a little bit of balance. Get steady in your uncomfortability. Inhale, crescent lunge. Drop your right foot, lift your arms straight up. Hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. So here's how we test it on our yoga mat. You test yourself. Where do you think you can or cannot go? Where in your mind are you stuck? And or, can you find your edge? Can you explore movement in a different way? Inhale, exhale, big heart opening, back bend. Squeeze your shoulders and get long through your spine. So down here, lift your, what is this? Lift your rib gauge away from your pelvis and then roll back. Inhale, reaching crescent, hinge forward. Reach forward. Exhale. Chair plank. So both shoulders touch. Squeeze them in order to open your heart. Lift your gaze. Bend your knees a lot. It's this nice little tuck. Bring the weight of your body into your left foot. Inhale, warrior two. Step your right foot back. Open and expand. Open and expand. Good. Warrior two is home for so many of us. But getting into it from a different place causes you to look for different avenues inside of your brain, and that's, that's the point here. Inhale. Exhale, side angle pose, and again, move through some shoulder warm-ups. Just make circles, make circles. Give yourself space. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your left leg, grab your left wrist, give yourself a self-assist, which I think is what we'll be doing for a while now, inhale. Exhale, hide a little push up, bring your hands down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath. Steady your breath. So we'll put that big dynamic flow and breath to movement, and then we'll add on. Find your edge. Play with your opposites. Let's begin. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, flip your dog and reach. Inhale, split dog. Exhale, bring your knee to the inside elbow. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing out. Exhale, Shiva. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, reaching crescent. Exhale, chair plane with control. Inhale, warrior two with more control. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, high to low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, flip and lower. Inhale, split dog. Exhale, bring your knee to the inside of your elbow. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing out. Exhale, Shiva. 
Inhale, crescent. Exhale, open your heart. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, chair plank. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, revolve to reverse triangle. Exhale, high low push up, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and open. We begin again. Exhale, flip. Inhale, split dog. Here's our first change. Exhale, side crow. Bring your right elbow, bring your right knee to your left elbow. Hinge forward. Find shutter on the arms. Pop your back leg a little bit forward. Hook and shoot your left leg out to the left side. Hold and breathe. For four, three, two. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing up. Exhale, Shiva squat and hold. Shift back. Bring your palms to heart center. Breathe. Now look up. Inhale, one leg in one. Exhale, dancer's prep. Actually, not dancer's prep. Bring both of your hands to heart center. Keep your left knee bent. And warm up our glutes a little bit more. Take your left heel to the back of your mat. Let's go. Kick, 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 kick. Exhale, 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 exhale. For eight, seven, six, five, final four, three, two. Hands up in one. Inhale, lift your hands, lift your leg. Exhale, low flying lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Listen for the next add-on. Exhale, low lunge. Pause here. Inhale, float your right leg high. Exhale, come on down to your forearm. Look forward, bend your left knee, hop forward. Keep your right leg engaged. On your next inhale, forearm stand. Take your breath, take your courage and your heart and jump your feet into the sky. Lead with your right leg, press both of your forearms down, and we'll play here for a little bit. So it helps if you drive your forearms down and flex your feet. It helps if you trust your body. It helps if you stop telling yourself the story that you're not strong enough we're ready for this. Bring both feet down with control. If you can, forearm plank is where we stay. Forearm plank is where we stay. Find your breath, then we drop our knees. Right, left, right, left. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Woo! Breathe and move, friends. Strength. Only comes via training. Mental toughness, mental endurance, only comes when you test yourself. We've got eight, seven, six, dolphin at five, four, three, dolphin at two, dolphin at one. Walk your feet up, press your left hand and lift your left elbow. Press into your right hand, now we're facing the hub. Big breath in. Big breath out. Woo! Let's begin again, other side. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, flip it. Inhale, split dog, lift your left leg up. Exhale, side crow. Walk your hands closer. Shift forward, hook your left elbow over your right knee. Take the leap. If you face plant, fine. That's part of the process, it's part of the game. But give yourself an opportunity to see what you're made of. Hold it for four, three, two, oh, and one. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing out. Exhale, hold. Find your breath. 
This is what I love about our practice. You can make a mess of it. Nobody said it had to, it had to be pretty. But what you have to do is work. Inhale, rise, stand up. Lift your hands, lift your knee. Exhale, hands to heart. Bend your right knee. Let's warm up our right glute. Back, back, exhale, exhale. Find steadiness in your upper body. Drive your heel behind you. Eight, seven, six, five, hands up in four, three, one leg in two, one leg in one, inhale. Exhale, low flying lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your left leg, pull back. Last add on. Exhale, low lunge, low lunge. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, come on down to your forearms. Look forward, bend your right knee, and jump. Jump. Find flight. Lead with your left leg this time. If you need to slow down, slow down. But can you tap in to that space that you lived in when you were a child? When it was all about bravery without knowing that that's what it was called. We just went out and lived our life. I watch these kids every day. My son chased a snake this afternoon. He tried to grab it with his hands. Like it's just innate until we learn the other way. So stay there, friends. Stay there. For four. Keep jumping for three. Four plank and two. Four plank and one. Feet down. Stay steady. We're just gonna shift forward and back this time. Forward, back, forward, back. Exhale, exhale. For eight, seven, six, five. Hold in four. Three. Holding two, holding one, now we add the knees, right, 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 exhale, exhale, right, left, right, left, we go right, left, right, left, Woo! for eight, seven, six, Five. Stay with me for four. Holding three. Final two. Holding one. Holding one. Ha. Ah. For four. On your knees in three. Down in two. Down in one. Woo. Nice job. Roll on up from this seated position. Shake your arms out. It's a lot of strength building in the front side of your body. So we're opening through our shoulders and lats and then building a lot of strength there. Let's continue all the way to the back. Back of the body and the back of your body. Lay down on the ground. Bring your knees over your hips. Simple crunches. Lift, lift, exhale, exhale. That's all. Yes, friends. Keep your chin away from your chest. Lift it up, up. Same time. Belly button goes down, down. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eagle arm sit ups. Right elbow under left, right leg over left. Open, close, open, close. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Squeeze. So back to the stretch on the back side of your body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Switch in one. Eagle other side. Left under right. Left over right. Open. Close. Open. 
both. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You got the rhythm, you know what this is. You know what this movement is. Can you show up and work the backside? And for me, this concept starts in here, like all of life does. Listen to everybody. Listen to everything worth listening to, and then believe nothing. And if you don't believe anything, yet you search for the truth yourself, you try it on for yourself, you get to explore and inquire versus taking something as gold, then you start to break free of what you think is not possible and you find your own levels of true strength. For four, let's go three, two, release in one, on your back, let go. Let go. Bring your hands to heart center. Just breathe. Just breathe. How are you feeling, team? You warmed up? Can you feel the blood pumping through your heart in and around your shoulders? Did some of you have that moment? You're like, oh, forearm stand in sun B plus. And then that's the roadblock. That's where we get to begin this training. Anytime you come up with a moment like that is your opportunity to train. Right? Normally I'm training for endurance events or something. And then right now the question is, AC, what are you training for? I'm like, I'm training for life. Yes, Lisa. Because life is so wiggly right now. And the more flexibility you have, the more resiliency you have, the further away from being glass, the further away from being breakable you are, therein lies the answer. That's right, Ashton. Stretch your body out, bring your knees into your chest, rock and roll vinyasa, downward facing dog. Inhale if you're right leg high. Yeah, we have exhale a little lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach up. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge. Bring your hands to heart center. Hook your left elbow over your right knee and stay right here. Lift your tummy away from your right thigh. Drive your right hand in. Turn on your right glute. Pull it to the midline. Pull it to the midline. Yes. So rinse your body, rinse your body right here, right now. Keep your gaze down and stay committed to this lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, reaching crescent. This time take a steeple grip. Lean forward, lift your right heel off the ground. I call this thunderbolt, so we hold. Liam, here we go. You wanted to go, here we go. Stay right here, stay steady. Keep your heel lifted off of the ground. And I'm gonna talk about these stories. People think, people think one species is stronger than the other. One biological sex is stronger than the other and it's just not true. It's in the stories that we have. Women give birth to humans. And then men, we get the man cold, we get the sniffles, and we're out for like a month. But then at the same time, that same man can go deadlift 500 pounds. Friends, we've got it. It's just uncovering your blind spots. Where are your blind spots? Maybe it's showing up right here. Is your heel still lifted? Are you still in the lunge? Or have you taken a knee? And if you have, good. Get up and begin again. This is training. That's it and that's all. There's no losing. Inhale, breath. Exhale, full airplane. Shoot forward. Straighten out your right leg. Lift your left leg in the sky. And let your heart hang low. Squeeze your left butt cheek again. Find stability. Find stability. Hold. Inhale, breath. Exhale, low lunge. Bring your hands down. Drop your left knee. Walk your right foot to the upper outside edge. Runner's lunge. Ah. Runner's lunge. Stretch 
the outside of your right hip. I see you, Samson. I get to call you when I know you're in here again. Stretch. Maybe the blind spot for you is the softness. It's the stretch. You'll find out right now. Inhale, King Arthur's. Reach your right hand up and back. Capture your foot. Bend your front, or uh, straighten your front leg. Hook your heel to your butt. Then shift forward while keeping your knee or your heel close to your butt. A big pull on the front line of your body. It's a different sensation. It's a different sensation. Can you come back to your breath? Versus breaking. Can you come back to your breath versus reacting? Can you hold steady versus wanting to be somewhere else? Exhale, release your foot. Walk your hands to the center. Toe heel your right foot to the center. Look forward, inhale, Shiva squat. Come on up, behold. This time, take your right hand to your left foot. Inhale, revolve, reverse dancer. Lift your left hand up, kick your, kick your left leg behind you. Big proud chest. Now bend your left elbow and reach for your right shoulder blade. For many, many years of my practice, and still to this day, balancing was my blind spot. That's where I've been so upset. If you've ever taken an HPF with me, you're probably laughing because you know I fall all over the place, get frustrated and angry. And that's where my opportunity to show up lies. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, samasthiti. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, Samson. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. Hook your right elbow over your left knee and promise. So here we go. It's yin to yang. It's effort and ease, and you get to find out where it shows up for you. So this is one of those yang postures now. All right, I had, if you were with me in the beginning, I had my little man with me, Jackson. He's three months old. And a lot of you know his middle name is Kobe. We named him after the late Kobe Bryant. When I think about mental toughness, whether you're a sports fan or not, I think that's a good example. The man tore his Achilles tendon, got up, shot two free throws, and walked to the locker room. And if you've ever even sprained your ankle, like this is hard to do. But then I'm sure there were blind spots in softness. A few more rounds of breath. Exhale, gaze down. Inhale, press and lunge. Exhale, reaching crescent, aka thunderbolt. Take your biceps by your ears. Shift forward, lift your left heel off of the ground. But my sweet little Jackson has two middle names. He's Jackson Kobe William. William named after my late father-in-law, who was the epitome of kindness. He was the epitome of gentleness, and he is like 6'4". So if Jackson Kobe William Chavez can embody strength and softness, the yin and yang, then we've got it. That's all of our aim. Lift your heel higher, turn your calf on, continue to breathe and reach. Woo! Struggling here, lift. Exhale, drop your heel, inhale, airplane, shift forward. Straighten your left leg. Keep your right thigh high. 
find stability. Woo, come on. See, and there it comes. The balancing. My blind spot. For my crack show. The key is to breathe. The key is to breathe and as Amy Opalowski says, breathe well. Inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat. Hold steady. Then shoot it on back. Drop your right knee to the ground. Lock your left foot forward. You thought I forgot I did run and lunge. Come on down your forearm, stretch it out. I like to roll to the outside edge of my foot. Externally rotate like shoot your knee away. Samson, good job on this side too, brother. Breathe. Inhale. Come on. Reach your right hand, your left hand back to your right foot. So King Arthur's on this side. Straighten your left leg first so that you can connect your heel to your butt. Then bend your left knee slowly and with control. Shift your hips forward. So for some of you, this is the easy part. You're like, I'm gonna be flexing. You see, I can do all this stuff. Like Chelsea Murphy. And then for me, because I show up as a young pitta, this requires more effort. I can say this a thousand times. All of it is about judgment of self. It's just knowledge. It's knowledge for you. So that you can better understand yourself. Better learn how you operate. Gently release your foot. Walk your left foot to the center. Look forward. Achieve a squat. With your right hand down, take your left foot behind you and rise. Inhale, revolve, reverse dancer. Straighten out your left leg. Take your right leg behind you and lift your right hand up. Find the big arch in your back. Breathe. Steady. Use the power of your backside and the softness in the front of your belly, the openness in your chest. One more in. Exhale, come on. Speak to you. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come on down near knees. Shift your way back. Hero's pose is next, so you can always stay right here. You can come down to your forearms, or you can lay all the way down. There's no wrong way. You just find your level of flexibility in your body today, and then find your edge, but don't go past it. Breathe. We'll be here for a little bit. You, your breath, and the physical sensations in your body. Silence. your eyes open if they're closed. Use your forearms to press your body up. Control your acceleration with your hands. Then put your hands down tabletop if it feels good to extend your legs. Do that if it feels good. Then cat cow, do that as well. Lots of options here. Lots of options. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh. Do you feel this 
deep, deep opening of your body. My ask is that you breathe even deeper into your ujjayi pranayama. We've got one more big place to go in our body and it's gonna require all of it. The yang, the yin, and your strength and your fragile pieces will all be tested in this one pose. From downward dog, bend your knees, come on down to your knees once again. Cross your ankles behind you, shift your hips back, sit on your butt, extend your legs out. Inhale, lift your hands up, exhale forward fold. You know this is not the pose. Forward fold. And create some space along the back of your body. And then I'm also looking to calm your sympathetic nervous system a little bit here. Because when we move into these big shapes, shapes that are half yin, half yang, steady, calm breath is, is the gateway. It's the gateway. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, put your hands down, scoot your booty forward, roll on down your back. Find your hands by your side, palms down, inhale, bridge pose. Lift your hips, walk your shoulder blades together, and notice how much space you have in the front line of your body. Notice how strong you are on your glutes. If you want to put your hands to your butt and give yourself a little lift, just play with how much space you have today. Exhale, lower down. Next place we're going is wheel, Urdhva Dhanurasana. Put your hands up by your head. Press up to the crown of your head, then pause. Run your pinkies away from each other. Inhale, wheel pose. Press the earth away, then walk your feet away from you. Yeah, Chelsea Murphy, so it's like straight leg version of wheel pose tonight so that you can tap into your glutes and your quads. Pull your heart through your armpits. And exhale, lower down. Come to the crown of your head. Roll down, pause. Bring your hands to heart center. Just breathe and knock your knees together or open them wide. Ah. Ujjayi breath. One more big pose to go. It's forearm wheel. Can you tap into that place inside of you that is mentally tough while simultaneously tapping into the kind-heartedness that Bill, we call him Bill, who lived on this planet with. When we can marry both of those, that's where true strength lives. Here's how we do it, friends. We're going to go through wheel first. So plant your hands down. Inhale to the crown of your head. Put your hands under your shoulders. Just one breath. Straighten out. Then come on down to the crown of your head. Now, with your left hand, put your left forearm down. Keep your right hand down. Then put your right forearm down, and you'll notice my head is free. I'm driving my forearms into the ground. Squeeze your glutes, turn your quads on, and come on and join me. So I'll stay here, I'll walk you through it again. First you go through wheel, then come down to the crown of your head. One hand at a time like we did in dolphin, and drive your forearm down. Once you're there, you're gonna create space so you can fling your head around, yes. Then, if it feels good, start to straighten out, I'm out of that. Straighten out your legs, Drive your heart forward, and you get so much space. Keep your belly up. Hold and breathe. Find a steadiness in your breath, an ease in your breath. That's when you'll know you've made it. When you're not gritting your teeth, when you're not turning red in your face, when you're holding this strong, strong asana with a steady, steady breath. Exhale, lower down. Whew. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Oh, and then bring
bring your knees into your chest. Bring your feet to the sky, palms down. Just pause, legs up the wall pose. If you have an actual wall, lean your legs on there. The next layer is to bring your hands to your heart center and just feel and experience the asana and or the medicine of the asana. Big, big practice. Big, big movements in your body because this concept is big. Friends, you are not fragile. We are not fragile. We are strong. We are flexible. We are resilient. We are kind. We are loving. And in my experience, kindness and love will always defeat fear, anxiety, and fragility. Bring your knees into your chest. Round your back. Inhale, happy baby. Grab your big toes. Draw your knees to the side of your body. And normally we cue to keep your tailbone or your whole, what's it called, spine on the mat. Today, lift and round. So you lift your butt up. This is going to be a nice counter to those giant back bends. So it's like a butt lifted happy baby. Continue to reach your knees for your armpits. And round your back, round your back, lift your pelvis. Yeah. Exhale, extend your left leg long, keep your right knee to the side of your body. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, supine twist. Drop your knee across your body. Close your eyes and look right. Notice where you're squeezing. Notice where you're holding really, really tightly. And honestly, by now, we should have moved beyond that. Lisa, my blind spot was not being gentle with myself. I've arrived from home. Magic and bliss. Yes, you are, Lisa. And I feel like what you're saying echoes with a lot of us because we signed up for this. We are power vinyasa yogi. So we show up and we're like, ah, and then the softness is, is our, is my blind spot. Or HPF. Bring your knees in, give yourself a squeeze. Exhale, supine twist on the other side. So extend your right leg long, bring your left knee to the side of your body. Twist and look left. To a good minute and a half here to release. You can also release your breath. And know that after a practice like that, what you experience in Shavasana has the potential to go deep within you on a cellular level. And this is why Shavasana is so important. You know, a lot of times in the studio, we've got to like run and go to work and stuff. And then I know y'all are home right now. So to the best of your ability, let go of everything when we get there and allow the full potential of Shavasana to wash over you because we're going to be in there for five plus minutes. Inhale both your knees into your chest. And then take a minute to just move your body in any direction, in any manner that, that feels good for you. It can be a squeeze, legs up the wall, plow pose. It honestly doesn't have to be anything you've ever seen or done in a yoga class before.
And, you know, there's a big lesson in that too. Because right now, a lot of us are in a place that we've never been in before. There's a lot of uncertainty. And we can either be broken by it or rooted into our beliefs, our practices, and our toughness, our grit. Exhale. Final resting pose, my sweet friends. Shavasana. Take your time finding that perfect space in your body. And whoo, let it go because we've got five plus luxurious minutes to do nothing. Breathe in. Exhale. Shavasana. Without moving a muscle in your body, feel the presence of it, the heaviness of your bones, the aliveness of each and every one of your cells. Feel the vibration, the, the, the movement. And then breathe into that, breathe into that. Open mouth, exhale. Ah. Do that again. Fill up. Ah. And start to take that vibration and move it through in and around your body. Mm. Stretch. Expand. 
exhale, bring your knees into your chest and then find a seat, Lisa. Thank you, Kyle, if you're still here, I read that brother, thank you. Press the earth away, find a seat, bring your palms to touch, dip your chin to your chest. And know that this is a sacred, sacred practice and it's a sacred place. Yes, we have fun, we work hard. And your experience of it is yours and the lessons you learn and the things that are uncovered for you, for you, they're yours and they're sacred. So please take a moment in whatever practice or tradition that you use and seal this. And we come back together as a community, inhale, lift your thumbs, your third eye, center, exhale, bow forward in reverence of each other and this practice. Namaste. Namaste, friends. Top of the hour on the dot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for choosing to spend the last hour breathing and moving, getting into your heart, Stephanie, my pleasure, and checking out where we are strong and, and where we have some, some suturing to do. And I want to be clear, this, the sutures are not bad. It's what makes us who we are. Mm. Kate, thank you, Mike. So, so blessed to spend this time with you all. Uh, a couple of, of big announcements. We are switching. Ah, uh, Amanda. Amanda L. Thanks for being on. We are switching platforms beginning tomorrow. So be on the lookout. Um, we are moving away from YouTube and <laughs> moving into a platform that's gonna be way more interactive. And it'll allow us to have a conversation with each other. It'll allow me to see you and your bodies and to give you individualized coaching. Uh, it'll also allow you, somebody's uh, talked about the music, it'll also allow you the option to play your own music in your own playlist or have nothing because there won't be any music. So lots of fun stuff. Um, Samson, did I miss anything? Type it in, but be on the lookout. Uh, look for the Core Power Yoga email if you're subscribed. Go subscribe, go to the website and or our Instagram page. You can get the link from me for my class on Thursday. It will be in my Instagram bio. It's at Anthony Chavez Yoga. I know a bunch of us are already friends on there. So we'll get you the information, but know that we are moving to a more interactive platform and I am really excited about that. Oh yeah, and then tomorrow, Samson is gonna be teaching a 30 minute live C2. So we'll still have 30 minute classes on YouTube and then the other format will just be different. But uh, all of it's gonna be announced basically tomorrow. And I'm really excited. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Uh, email me with questions, anthony.chavez at corepoweryoga.com and or on social, it's at Anthony Chavez Yoga. We're going to get started with meditation in like two minutes. Good question. Amanda, the, the class schedule will be the same on the other format. So 7 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Schedule's the same, the formats will be the same, Sculpt, C2, and then the nighttime one is a rotating Sculpt and C2. All of that will stay the same. It'll just be a lot more interactive. Yes, Stephanie, members are gonna get uh, email with all that stuff. So make sure that you're, you've are you opted in to, to whatever updates that, that we're sending you. And if not, reach out to any of the Core Power Humans on social media and we'll, we'll help navigate you there. We're not going to leave you in the dust. <laughs> this is so that we have a better experience. Uh, love you. Let's begin our meditation treat tonight. Find a place that you can put your legs up the wall. Doesn't matter where it is. You don't have to see anything. It's going to be a body scan style meditation after such a big class. So I'll give you the visual and then I'll come back to the camera. But if you can find a wall, lay down, put your butt close to the wall and your legs 
far apart, if that feels good, or close together, third option to bend your knees and let them hang here. So you're looking for the option that feels the best and has the least amount of effort, the place that you can just relax. And you know, and Shavasana is also a great option too. Uh, but if you can, legs up the wall to help calm your nervous system and it'll help you just get ready to transition from a power moment, a power practice to more of a restful state. So here, with your arms wide, find your space. And then we'll take a couple of breaths in, a couple being six. So stay where you're at. I'm gonna get closer to the camera so you can hear me. Close your eyes. Six rounds of breath. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Fill up. Let go. Inhale. Exhale. Longer and fainter. Inhale. Breathe out. Last guided breath, inhale. Exhale. Continue to breathe along. Steady and full. Focus all of your mental faculties on this metronome and the metronome of your breath and cadence. Give yourself permission to dance in between consciousness of awake and asleep. Release the muscles in and around your face, your eyebrows, soften your ears, let your jaw hang heavy. Feel the muscles around your chest, your shoulders soften. And imagine the melting away. Same thing in your pelvis and your quads, your feet. Imagine that with every exhale, your body gets clearer and clearer. Layer by layer, you go into yourself. 
bones are gone, the body is gone. There's simply the breath and the essence of who you are, your soul, your whatever you believe your consciousness is. You've gone so far deep into yourself that you can no longer tell the difference between the wall and your foot or the floor and your body. It's all become the same. Even the speed at which you think has slowed down. as if you were awake during the deepest, most restful sleep you have ever had in your entire existence on this planet, witnessing the blissful rest of your body, the repair, the recovery, witnessing how, how sweet, how lovely and how beautiful it is that your breath continues to breathe you, that you are continuously breathed without any effort. <sighs> Final layer is the dissolution of all of it so that it's just breath and silence. Notice how in the absence, thoughts, the self-identification, you're left with two distinct knowings. One is the breath, and the other is this deep, deep sensation of peace. Peace is our natural state. So let the sensation and the knowledge of peace wash through your body as it rematerializes for you through your senses. And you remember you have arms and legs and a face and a smile and eyes. And then envision your breath filling all of your cells, reanimating you with peace peace, with perfect peace. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.
friends, you can stay where you are the rest of the night. If you'd like to move again, deepen your breath. Inhale. Exhale. And very consciously just start to move your body. Yeah, Amanda, that's it. I see you in my mind's eye. In that little room in Peru where we got to practice. Stretch your body. Gently roll off of the wall if that supports you. If you're staying there, tune me out. Do you think? Place a hand on your heart. Different from Namaste. Dip your chin to your chest in the same way. And just remember this moment. Make a conscious effort to remember the peace, the completion, the wholeness, and the strength that you feel. And remember that you are so capable, strong, versatile, and dynamic. And you can handle this. Make your eyes open. Thank you. Love you. Thanks for hanging out. It's been really, really cool to witness uh, the birth of meditation practices over the last seven seven weeks. To, yeah, when we first started these, we would see, I don't know if you can see like how many people are on on the other part, but it would go from, you know, 100, 200 to like 30 people. And then now we're staying on and we're breathing together. And I just think that's awesome. The ability to partake into all these different types and styles of meditation that everyone is offering is bringing a new level to our practice. And it's, for me, it's like, uh, it's the jet fuel to my life and to my asana practice. So really, really proud of us as a community for, for leaning into meditation. And it's not something that a lot of power yogis do. Thanks friends, love you tons. Be on the lookout for all the all the good stuff, all the upgrades that that we are are layering in. And again, if you want to reach out uh, at Anthony Chavez Yoga or Anthony Chavez at CorePowerYoga.com. Yeah, Mike's at the wall is funny. Neil, thank you. Appreciate you so much as a human and as a teacher. You're living your yoga in a big way. Alrighty. It's two minutes after when I'm supposed to stop talking. So I'm going to go grab Jackson and love on him. Thank you. Namaste.